Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with another Quadro Quatri or Quattro Quadri or whatever they're called. Um, this one by Damasosis92 called Archery. I did one of these um, a couple of weeks ago and really enjoyed it and said that I'd want to see some more. So Demososis92 reached out and said, here's one. So awesome. Um, so yeah, let's just get on to the puzzle. So these are different to your normal Sudoku. So the way these work is we have to place the digits one to nine in each three by three box and digits may not repeat in the same row or column um, or box of the grid. So in the rows or columns, there's only there's only a six by six grid, but we don't know um, what digits are going to get placed in the row. We know that the boxes contain the digits one to nine, and we know that there's no repeats in the rows or the columns, but we don't know which of the digits is going to get placed in the rows or the columns. So that's the grid. Then we've got um, draw non-intersecting straight arrows that start from every given circle and continue for other, uh, for other two cells. So there will be two cell long arrows that are straight um, coming out of each circle. Um, digits along an arrow must sum to the digit in that arrow circle. So there are two di there are two digit uh, uh, there are the arrows are two cells long, they are straight, they come out of circles, and they're not allowed to touch other arrows. Now, if two arrows have the same direction, horizontal or vertical, but different orientation, left or right, whatever, the circles have a different parity. And if they have the same direction and same orientation, the circles have the same parity. Okay, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. Let's start by drawing some arrows, because this must be a two cell long arrow that doesn't touch any other arrow. It must go that way. This must be a two cell long arrow that doesn't touch any other arrow. If I go this way, it would touch this one. It can't go left, it can't go up. This must go down. This now must go down because I can't go left without touching this arrow. This one can't go up without touching this arrow. It can't go right, it can't go down. This must go left. This one has to go up or right, not sure. This one can't go, uh, can't go right, can't go left. This one must go down. So now this one can't go up, it must go right. So I've only got three that I haven't placed. So this one goes either up or right. If it goes up... or right... Not sure. Now, I do know that this is 6, 7, 8, or 9, because it's got a 5 on the arrow. So this is 1, 2, 3, or 4. It's not 3, so this is not 8. 2 must be in one of these, because I have to put every digit into a box. I can't put the 2 up here, and this can't be a 2, because this has the bulb of an arrow. The minimum this could be is 3, if this was 1, 2. And it can't be three. So two is down here. Three and five? I'm not sure. This is two. Can I tell something about parity? Maybe if I can figure out something about this arrow or these. If this goes up, this goes down and this goes that way. If this goes this way, this goes this way. Right. If this goes up, this has to go down because I can't then go up. Right. This has to go down and this is forced to go this way. So if this goes up, this goes down and the eight goes to the right. If this goes this way, the eight must force to go to the right. No matter which, what happens, this goes to the right. Right. So I know that these, because this is the same orientation and direction, these are even. So these are two, four, six, or eight. Now this can't be two. It can't be four because that would make this two or two. So this is either two, four, six, or two, six, eight. Eight. Either way, there's a six on this. There's no six here. This is an odd digit. So these must be odd. 
These are 13579. Now I can't put one or three on one three or five on them. This is a seven nine pair. I can't put one on them because I can't have an arrow summing to one. It'd have to be one and zero. I can't put three or five on them because of the three five in the row. This is a seven nine pair. There's no eight here. But, um, this can't be a one. This would have to be a six. This is a two or a four. Don't know anything about these. If this was going across, this would... Actually, can this go across? Because this would have to be even to match those. And it couldn't be two or six. So it would be four. This would be four and this would be one. So if this goes across, this is a four. If it goes down, it's odd. And it can't go down. This can't go down. Because if this goes down, it's an odd digit. And one, three, uh, three, five, seven, and nine is not available. So if this went down, this would have to be an odd digit to match all of those. And this would have to be a one, which doesn't work for arrows. This must go across, which means it's an even digit to match all of these, which two, four, six, or eight, it can't be two or eight because it sees them. This is a four, six pair, but the six must be on this. This is a four, which means this is a one. This four makes this six and this eight. These are three, five, seven, and nine. This can't be a nine. Three would be seven plus four or no, uh sorry three is if three is either um if this is seven is four if it's nine it's six five if it's seven is two if it's nine is four seven if it's seven is zero and if it's nine is two so this is two four or six eight is in one of those two This is, wait, 268, can't go in those, can't go in those. This is 268, this is 2, this is 6 and 8 by Sudoku. So these are 1 and 4. Because one and four have to go in this box. Six and eight have to go in this box and they can't go in any of those. Seven, six, one. Seven, eight, minus one, which doesn't work. Nine, six, three, or this is one or three. But this can't go up, can't go that way, can't go down. This arrow goes this way. Which means these are odd because they're the opposite of these. So these are one, three, five, seven, nine. Now this can't these can't be one because you can't have an arrow sum to one. If this is three, this would need to have a one on it and would break that. This is five, seven, or nine. If this is three, it'd need to have a one on it and break that. This can't be three. These are five, seven, and nine. How do I make eight? One seven would be one and seven. Two six would be two and six. Three five would be three and five. Four four doesn't work. Can't do two on an arrow, that's dumb. Two is in one of those. Four would be one, three, which would be one and three. Six would be either one, five, or two, four. Can this be five? If this is five, if this was one, four, 
if this is 5 and this was 1, 4, this would be 6. And this wouldn't work because I'd have 5, 1, 4, and this wouldn't work because 6 could, would have to be 2, 4. And if this is 5, 2, 3... I'm not sure. How do I move forward from here? Eight in this box. Can I put eight on this? It'd be one, eight, nine, seven, three, six, nine. Oh, hang on. This is just seven. This is five, two. This is seven. This is nine. This isn't nine. Now I can't put 8 down here because I can't put 8 on this unless this sums to 9. So 8 is here because 8 must go in the box. 9 must go in the box. It's in one of those two. 9 must go in this box. Nine can't go on an arrow. It can't go on an eight arrow. It can't go on a six arrow. This is a nine. Which means this isn't a nine. This is a nine. So how do I do this? I can't do one eight. Two seven would be two seven. Three six would be three six. Four, five would be four, five. These are still breaking my brain. Oh, the nine makes this seven, which means there's no seven here. So this is either three, four or five, two. There's no six here. There's no seven in any of those. These are three, five, nine. But again, where's one in this box? I need to put one in this box. It's not in any of those because this can't be one, six. There's no one here. This is a one. So this is either three or five. Seven. Two in this box is in one of those two. This is so strange. Now, if this is five, this can't be one, four. This would be two, three. Five, two, three. We'd make that five, six. Wait, if this is five, this is two, three. This would be five. This can't be a five. Because I can't do one, four. And five would mean this is two, three, which would make that five, which doesn't work. This is seven. So I can't use one six. Two five would be, sorry, two five has a particular order. It would be, no, I can't do two five. This is three four, meaning this is five, meaning this is six. There's no six in those. This is three four, meaning that's one. So this is four, this is one. One means this is eight and this is six to make this arrow work. This isn't one. One, two, three, four, five. These are two, five, and six. There's no two, five, two, five in the column already. That's the six. This is a two, five. The three is looking down, making that the four and that the three. Two, this can't be seven because this can't be one. That's the three. Three and five is eight. That's the two. That takes three out of here. 
Now, 9 is 4 plus 5 or 7 plus 2. There's no 3 here. Oh, I could have got that from that. This still has, ah, oh, the 5 makes that 2, which makes that 7, which makes that 4. 4 is, 4 plus 3 is 7, taking 3 out of those. The 5 looks up making that the 9 and that the 5. That is beautiful. So from just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine circles and one oh, and four given digits, that resolved. And knowing some parody tricks about the way arrows had to work. That is beautiful. I like those quad is it quattro quadri or quadro quatri? I'm not sure. I think it's quattro quattro quadri puzzles. I really like them and I want to see some more of them. It's Quattro Quadri. I had to look at my video because I put it in the top. I want to see some more of these. I really do. Um, there are other channels covering 6x6 Sudoku, quite a few of them, but I want some more of these. I would like to see some more of these featured on the channel. I really am enjoying them. Yeah, thank you, Demosaurus92. Really appreciate it. And, and other people who are setting these, please reach out and send them to me. This is great. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.